Do you know what time it is? Tool time? What, what was the thing that he said in tool time? <gasps> Greg, the Sherpa, Greg, the Sherpa. This is how we do service on BBS Adventures. Are we in Nepal? Yeah. No, we're in Iceland. Yeah. West Fjords, baby. We're heading to Iceland's north today. But first, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is an awesome place for photographers or anyone really to build a professional looking website really quickly. There are a lot of community driven aspects that go beyond building the website as well. For example, you can make a gated community area to both earn revenue and connect with your audience. And if you're looking to streamline your photography business, there are loads of options to integrate third-party e-commerce programs, which allow you to take payments, manage inventory, promote products, and even streamline your bookkeeping and accounting. Of course, all of this is a bonus beyond the beautiful and easy to use Squarespace website templates they're known for. So head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson for a 10% discount on your first purchase. Wow, this is crazy. It is so sunny and warm in Iceland. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. It is June 19th, so nearly summer solstice and it feels like it. It's just absolutely beautiful. We camped under this waterfall last night, not directly under it, but next to it. And uh, now we're off exploring. We've got a bit of a long drive today. I have no idea what we're gonna see, but the weather's good, so it doesn't even matter. No, the weather isn't good. It's incredible. In fact, it's almost too good. In Iceland, we're used to getting soft light, and dramatic skies over the waterfalls we photograph. But today, it's harsh and contrasty. I always say this, but it's so true. Blue skies are great for life, but pretty bad for photography. At our first location, I did take a photo, but it's pretty average. Luckily, the drone footage Greg shot isn't. Look how clean the vans are. I know. Like actually really clean. Yeah. Dennis cleaned the windows this morning. Spit shine. Fucking, we should have more Canadians on tour, eh? No. He cleaned the windows. I know. It's amazing. It's your job. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Later though. Laughing now. All right. <laughs> Through clearly Canadian clean glass, we cruised along the north of Iceland and then set up camps in another beautiful location. Yo, what's happening? Well, I don't know. We're gonna set up tents and then we're gonna go photograph something in tents. A waterfall. Another one? <laughs> yeah, another one. Like, like Khalid. I'm gonna set up my tent right here. How's this grass look for sleeping? Um, pretty good. It's pr yeah, I might not even set up a tent. It's pretty lush, hey? A little bit of a diagonal here. A little bit. Yeah, but a horse has peed here within the past eight hours. Yo, so where are we right now? I have no idea. We're at Foslaug. And you might remember the last time I was here with Greg, uh, we got stuck. Uh, correction, you got stuck. Greg, it's a team effort. I, we're stuck. <laughs> Woo! We got stuck um, just up the road there and we got here too late. It was frozen, it was a big fail, and we had to use my three-legged thing tripod to dig us out. Which but we worked, got out. Which worked awesome. Yeah, it worked. If you ever need an ice pick, the three-legged thing, it says right on the packaging, works also as an ice pick or, uh, or weapon. It doesn't say the weapon part. Use it your own I made race. that up. Luckily, with weather like this, the only thing a photographer could get stuck on here today is a great composition.
Okay, so apparently this is called Reykjafoss or something like that, not what the map said. And it's really cool. It's not a massive waterfall, but it dumps right into this canyon. And we do have sunset right behind it. So it is pretty cool, but this is again, a location scouting trip. We're going to places we haven't been before. And even though it's probably a good time to take pictures, I'm exploring. So I wanna to get to the other side of this fall and see if there's a better composition than this side, which is a good composition. I just wanna be better. I wanna to try to find something better. So get a wander up here and try not to get distracted by the hot springs because it's kind of cold and I'm starting to regret my shorts. Let me be clear about something. I'm only regretting the shorts from a purely weather related standpoint. From a fashion standpoint, there's no regrets to this gumboots and salmon shorts combo. It really shows off the paleness of my legs in contrast to the black rubber boots. I mean, come on, look at these legs. Okay, made it across to the other side and actually, I really like the composition here. My only issue with it is that I wish it was sunrise. Sunsets over here. Sunrise, I think, is going to be almost directly up this uh, canyon. And it would be really cool to have the waterfall here and then the sunrise directly up the canyon. So it might be a situation to come back for sunrise. Um, the, it has gotten cloudy and the sunrise has gone behind the cloud. So it's not super ideal. On my camera, I'm using the Nisi 14, uh, 15 millimeter F4. My 15 to 35 is still in the shop. And then it's all manual. So I'm at F16, uh, basically infinity on the focus. And then I'm shooting, what was this? Like a little over a second. And even 15 isn't wide enough from where I am. I don't know, something like a 12 or 14 millimeter might be a little bit better. Feels a bit squeezed, but I think it looks really cool. It's a pretty frame. I do wish I would have waited on it a little bit longer though. The light came up from under the clouds once I went back over to the other side which left a beautiful light flared sun star in my photo. But I did also find a nice image closer to the falls with a beautiful sky. And with the sun down for about an hour, we decided to wander off and visit a couple of the stunning Icelandic horses who were pretty happy to exchange some photos for some freshly picked grass. We left really briefly to go see if we could photograph some horses, but it was a little bit too dark. And we've come back to the waterfall now for sunrise. Sunrise is literally 45 minutes after sunset. And yeah, I mean, you couldn't tell the difference. It's just been like kind of orange in the sky over there the whole time, but it has gotten cloudy. So I think maybe I might not take out my camera and instead go see what Greg's doing. I know it seems like I give Greg a lot of grief, but it's all jokes. Greg is one of the hardest working videographers out there. He's literally working non-stop. Non-stop! Duty first. Work, work, work. Last I checked, Greg was just up over here. What the hell? I think these are Greg's clothes. What the hell? Why are Greg's clothes on the ground? Hey, have you seen Greg? Yo, are you naked? No, I've got boxer shorts on. You wanna see? No. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome to Iceland. I thought you were supposed to be working. Um, aren't you supposed to be working? Dude, <laughs> I am working. How's the water temp? 
it's not as hot as I was hoping for. Not like uh, British Columbia, but I'd say like maybe 39. Is the ver is this the first time you've bathed this year? Uh, no, but it's the first time I've bathed since we got to Iceland. <laughs> is that is that a true story? That is true. Yeah. Oh my God, that's why your van smells so bad. <laughs> I'm not too sure a sulfur water soaked Greg will smell any better, to be honest. We left the falls after sunrise at about 2 a.m. Our sleeping hours on this trip were about 4 a.m. to noon, so we caught some cloudy daytime sleep, and we were back at it the next day where we were treated to a couple rainbows and a night in a hotel. But we'll sleep later. For now, there's waterfalls. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie Keeping your feels bottled up inside yeah. Okay, we've come to a waterfall slightly bigger than yesterday's. We're at Deti Foss, which is, uh, it's a wild waterfall. It's massive and it's a little bit intimidating. And today I think it's even more intimidating than normal because the wind is blowing straight at us. I think we're gonna get absolutely drenched. I don't think we're gonna get a photo, <laughs> at least from down at the bottom. Um, but we're gonna try anyway. It's uh, way off in the distance there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, little or no reaction. And it is, what time is it? Like 11.30, I think? No, it's about 11 o'clock. I was trying to demonstrate a waterfall with this falling into my mouth. You can turn the camera on me. Uh, sorry, dude. Yeah, it's 11. You wanna try again? No. no. You get well, one chance at these things in life. Okay, after me worrying about not being able to get a photo here because of the spray, I think actually the spray kind of goes past where we're gonna photograph and this is gonna work. The sky's looking awesome, but there's lots of cloud on the horizon. So I don't think this is gonna last more than a couple minutes. So as quick as I can, I wanna try to get a photo. The last time I was here, there was no ropes and you could get right up to the edge of the falls. But now it looks like this is kind of as close as you're allowed to get. On most days, this is as close as you'd want to get. Deddy Foss is intimidating, and one nasty gust of wind on slick rocks, and that could be it. Okay, so actually, there's no spray at all. The spray kind of bounces past us, and it's perfect. But what's not ideal here is the rules. <laughs> and I don't know how strict rules are when it comes to a place like this, because there's no sign saying stay behind the lines. But for the most part, especially when I have a group like I here have here, we have to stay behind the lines and follow the rules. And that's causing a bit of a, not an issue, but it's making life harder. Because this waterfall, as you can see, is massive and powerful and intense but showing that scale is just really really hard without you know putting a person up there or getting closer so it's a little bit tricky but that being said the light is epic right now because you have this really cool saucer cloud up there that's just catching all this light and it's making for a really beautiful photo i just wish I was a jerk enough to go stand there. And honestly, like I said, there's no sign saying you can't do it. I think this is a safety thing. I think that there's no vegetation at risk there because it's just rocks. So I'm leaning towards maybe bending the rule. Yeah, so I went out, but I'm not sure that even adding scale like this truly did it justice. Spinning the rules though did help me get a better angle for this photo.
And while I bent the rules a little bit at the waterfall, Greg bent, well, his van. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, we had some car issues. <laughs> so Greg is no longer with us and uh, we're one van. And we had to cut things short because of that and also the weather just got bad. And so now it's the next day. Detti Foss is actually just up this canyon and we're at a different foss which is called the Hagels Foss. I don't know what it's pronounced. I'll write it down here somewhere. Um, but it's also pretty cool. Uh, but we're way up top. You've got the waterfall here, the canyon back that way, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure it's a great photo this time of day, but maybe it's sunset at some point with this landscape and the canyon and that waterfall as a feature would be absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to take up my camera and take a photo for reference from up here. And uh, then we're going to carry on to Selfos and then see what happens from there. I take it back. There is a good photo here this time of day. I just had to leave my camera up on the hill taking images as I race down to pose in the frame on the cliff. And I think I got a photo there actually, a uh, bit of a selfie. And I wish I could have been higher to put myself in the waterfall rather than on the river, but it's cool. And uh, some of the guys on the trip mentioned that I should probably say that Greg's alive and well. I said we lost Greg. I didn't mean we lost him forever. It just means that he's waiting back for the replacement van, but he'll be back soon. I promise he's okay. Yeah, we're at Selfoss now. This is a scouting trip. And if you ever want to join me on one of my photography trips, I think the scouting trips are fun. Because yes, you do take photos at good hours of the day, but you spend all day exploring, looking for things. And so you do take pictures even in the middle of the day. And even though the photos aren't gonna be like mind-blowingly crazy with epic light, they're still good. And you get to see so much more than a typical photography trip. So this is a lot of fun. We're almost to Selfoss. <coughs> 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 I don't know if there's slow-mo of that, but I just ate a bug. Oh my God, that was... <coughs> I'm shook, but full of protein now. Selfoss is one of those rare places that's actually more photogenic than it looks to the eye. There are so many cool compositions here. I played with a number of different photos. I wanted to create balance or symmetry. I wanted to play with contrast. And I had so much fun here. So many times I'm out in the field and I say things like, I don't think I like the photos I took. I'll go home and edit them and love them. Today might be the opposite of that and I hope not, but I think I really love the photos I took here. And I hope I don't dislove them after I get them home. But this has been an awesome location. I would love to come back here at some point with some really nice light. But for now, we're continuing our Iceland road trip heading east. See you there. Peace.